A packed commuter train ploughed into a station in New Jersey at the height of Thursday morning's rush hour, bringing down part of the roof and scattering debris over the concourse. At least one person was killed and more than 100 others were injured. Witnesses described terrifying scenes as the front of the train smashed through the buffers at high speed. It continued through ticket barriers and into the concourse, toppling support pillars and creating chaos at one of the busiest transit hubs in the New York City area. Once we got off, we noticed that people were stuck and they had to come out through the windows. The police were trying to rescue them and the conductor came off and he was completely bloodied. And that's when we started to notice that there were more injuries, um, more severe. Um, I just feel the strain from the impact, but nothing like what those people might be feeling. I'm an engineer for freight. If I'm going 50 miles an hour and if I hit a car or if I hit a person, I can go in the emergency at 50 miles an hour with a mile with a two mile train. That train to go a mile and a half before it stops. So I mean, that's what trains do. They, they don't. They're not like cars, man. They they keep going. There were no immediate explanations for what caused the crash. The Federal Railroad Administration says its investigators are en route to the scene. The National Transportation Safety Board says it will send its major incidents team to investigate.